What's up guys, my name is Matt, and today, today I'm going to actually do that 1.5 Q&A that I announced yesterday. Got a lot of questions, and I may do these at future milestones if that's what you guys want, but then again, at 1000 I did that troll guide, so I might do that later on as well. Who knows? But let's get right into the questions, I've got a lot of them to answer. Alright, so the first question was from Slenderman, and he says, What would you like Bungie to implement into Destiny? Now, I do have that whole Dear Bungie series, and that one, like a lot of those things I'd love to see in Destiny, but my main thing is more stuff to do on a regular basis. I don't even care if it's grindy. Just give me more things, more bounties, more raids. Basically, just let's have House of Wolves come out. I want more stuff to do. More bounties. More daily things. Mainly daily things. Alright, next question is from FaZe Media. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Regardless, he says, Do you have a girlfriend? No. Clay Lister asks, Do you chew tobacco? How the fuck do you know that? The answer was yes. That was my way of saying yes. But how the fuck could you pick up and ask? Or you just, just want to know? It's really weird. Because if you knew that, you could pick up on that by the fact that how I talk, I'm impressed and creeped out. Or you know me. Something along those lines. That's freaky. Don't do that. Next one is from the Lonely Comet. He says, you and Koda are a cute couple, but I was wondering if you would go on a date with me sometime. Of course I would, baby girl. I've been waiting for you to ask for a long, long time. Onwards and forwards from Crota, son of Oryx. He said, why did you make a YouTube channel? Now, initially, back before I had this channel, way, 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 way back when, like five, six years ago, I made a YouTube channel to record what I thought was good gameplay on COD. Little did I know that I was terrible at Call of Duty and there were people much better than myself. But that's initially why I made a YouTube channel. And then eventually I got into booster busting in Modern Warfare 2. And then I made another YouTube channel where I did Call of Duty funny moments and GTA funny moments. And then I made another YouTube channel and we're on that one right now. And I like this one. But mainly because I enjoy doing YouTube. After that first channel and learning from everything, I kind of figured it out now. At least I hope I've got it figured out now. And it's mainly just because I like the interaction. I like sharing my knowledge of a game with other people and finding out that they enjoy me sharing that knowledge. Which kind of leads me into the next question from MFK Clicks. What's the most rewarding part of being a YouTuber? Honestly, everything that I just said, being able to interact with you guys, being able to do a 1.5K Q&A, having as many questions as I do to answer... Those kind of things are awesome. Being able to meet people like Clicks himself and Coda himself and, you know, Lonely Comet and Spartan, who I haven't really had a chance to talk to, but I'm going to shamelessly plug our Guardians of Destiny community channel that you guys should subscribe to. The link's in the description. Go subscribe for daily Destiny content from multiple YouTubers, including myself. Regardless, I like that sort of thing. I like being able to interact and share my knowledge of a game with people, and I think that's why I do it. Now, I said you guys could ask multiple questions, and of course, I will answer as many as I can in a relatively short period of time. I don't want to talk for an hour, but Clay Lister also asked, I know everyone is tired of this, but do you see white and gold or blue and black? To be completely honest, I don't give a fuck. But, if you want an answer, I see blue and orange. Pinstripe225 Space9. Pinstripe asked, are you ever going to do another sub raid, not during streaming, but just another highlight reel or something on 360? Maybe. Now, I know I've said numerous times that I may or may not go back uh, to the 360, and it's mainly just because I don't like the way it looks. It's an ugly console. I'm sorry for you 360 guys that are sub to me and are on my friends list, and I never play it, and I apologize. I might do that at some point. Who knows? If I do, I'll let you guys know in a video. Keegan asked, what's your favorite game besides Destiny? Now, this is kind of hard, because what's my favorite game all time? What's my current favorite game besides Destiny? I don't know. I mean, I really had a thing for Diablo 3 for a long time, and I still play it. Uh, there was a long spout where I played Minecraft all the time. I just censored myself. That was really weird. I'm just going to say fucking. But no, uh, as a kid, I loved fucking Super Mario 64. Uh, Ocarina of Time. I mean, these are cliche games that people like, but I've always been in that, like, RPG kind of get things and progress, and that's what I've always played. I've always played games like Zelda and Mario, specifically Mario 64, um, Donkey Kong Country 64. I was a Nintendo addict as a kid, and I played the N64 a lot. I mean, I played Diablo 2, I played 
RuneScape there for a long while in my childhood and in middle in middle school as well. I mean, there's I, I like the RPG grindy aspect of games. So there's a lot of games and I can't really put a pinpoint on a favorite one besides Destiny. And I wouldn't even put Destiny as my favorite game. I just really, really enjoy it and enjoy making videos on it. But besides Destiny, probably somewhere as a child, I would say somewhere in between either Super Mario 64 or uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time. I did kind of like Majora's Mask too. So between those three, uh, for as a child, currently uh, I'm really enjoying playing Binding of Isaac off of, off of video, off camera, off YouTube. That's the thing that I do. Yeah, so there you go. Besides Destiny, currently I play Binding Isaac a lot, uh, Risk of Rain, uh, indie games. I don't really have a favorite game. It's kind of hard to question and answer because I play a lot of games. Surprise to anyone that who thought I only played Destiny. I play a lot. I basically don't sleep. Why am I still on this question? Answer, no idea. Now my good friend Koda, he asked, what is your goal as a YouTuber? And honestly, I have no fucking idea. What is my goal? I, I set short-term goals. When I hit 500, I said, let's hit 1K. When I hit 1K, I said, let's hit 1.5K. And now that I'm 1.5K, I was like, let's hit 2K. Ultimately, I have no idea where I want to be down the road as a YouTuber. I just want to keep doing what I'm doing and having people respond to it in a relatively positive manner like you guys do. So yeah, I have no idea what I want as a YouTuber as a goal. I mean, I guess an ideal place to be would be like, I don't know, 20k? 10k? 20k? I don't know. I set short-term goals. I don't really have a long-term goal for YouTube. Phase Media, Medi, Phase Media, Community Channel Guy. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Tell me in the comments how to phonetically do that, regardless. Will I do a face reveal? Really? A face reveal? Who the fuck does face reveals? And the final question is from Spartan Jesters, and he said, Who got you into YouTube and why? Now, this is kind of hard to say because, as I said, I've had numerous channels, and each channel kind of had its inspiration and who got me into it. Except for this one, but I'll get into that in a second. Initially, who got me into YouTube? Uh, you guys may or may not know who he is. Only Use Me Blade. He kind of convinced me. I used to play with him on a regular basis when he was small. Had a very minute amount of subscribers. You may or may not be able to go back on his channel way back in the COD for Modern Warfare 2 days and see a guy named General Super. That is me. I used to play with him a lot, and he convinced me to get to YouTube for my first channel when I thought I was good at Call of Duty, as I previously mentioned. The second channel, well, I had multiple channels, but the Booster Crusader channel where I hunted boosters on Modern Warfare 2 Free For All uh, I would say probably PS3 House MDL. Uh, you can look him up. He basically did, he kind of started the whole booster buster thing, at least in my world. He's the one that kind of convinced me to do it. When it came to iCapsy, uh, initially that was probably Mr. Wolfless and the guys who did, what's it called? Passive Aggression. If you don't know what that is, go watch them. They're pretty cool videos. Forgot this Call of Duty stuff. I was really into Call of Duty for a long time on YouTube. Just understand that, and I've moved forward, I've realized the error of my ways, and now I'm a destiny. And then, I capsule kind of melded in, and people like that are huge now, that weren't huge at the time, Thanos and those guys, and that crew, and whatever, those kind of, kind of guys inspired me to get into YouTube for that channel, and move into the Funny Moments direction. And then when it came to Destiny, honestly, I just made this decision myself to start this channel, and I'm going to run with it. But that's all I got for you guys. I answered a bunch of questions, multiple questions from some people. I don't think I really missed any, I shouldn't say any important, because they were probably important to the person asking. I don't think I missed any. If I did, I'm sorry. But that is all the time I have to answer these, at least today. I may do more in the future, so if I didn't answer your question, I'm sorry. I'm not looking at the comment section right now, so I'm not sure. But if I didn't answer your question, I may or may not do these in the future. Maybe around 2K, 2.5. Who knows? I will do these in the future more than likely, but I won't guarantee it. Regardless, I'm going to get out of here and stop wasting your guys' time about stuff about myself that you guys asked. So as always, my name is Matt, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.